Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set up virtual cam inside of Waterdo. So that way you can be able to do things like having a Discord call with your VTuber avatar. Um, like everyone can see your avatar. You can do Zoom calls or Skype calls or whatever uh, service that you know, supports like the whole uh, webcam sort of thing or virtual cam. You can be able to have your VTuber avatar there. Um, and this is, you know, with Waterdo, we have built in virtual cam in this case. So, how do we set this up? Well, there's actually, um, it's one method, but there's like slightly two different ways of it. We have the global virtual cam, but then we also have individual virtual cam. So allow me to show you the global virtual cam first. So go click on the paw at the bottom left of Waterdo. Then you're going to go into your settings. You're going to go into general and scroll down to output. And over here, there is a virtual cam. Uh, a virtual camera output. This is your global one. So whatever is visible on your Wadudo, um, you know, scene here, you can have it set up so that way there'll be a virtual camera, um, you know, showing everything basically. So you can go to Wadudo Cam number eight, have that be loaded into Discord or your Zoom, and people can be able to see your avatar, um, you know, in Wadudo just by uh, making sure this is loaded up in the, you know, whichever call service uh, you prefer. But otherwise though, there is the other method to setting up virtual cam. This is definitely useful if you're going to do things like collabs where if you have to have your character in like this, um, like in the front for collabs, but then um, for your stream you have to have it where uh, you have to be on the bottom corner of your screen. So um, how can we set that up? Well basically, um, you can actually, you know, I have two cameras here for instance basically. So for this camera, I want to have it where there is a virtual camera output. So you can have it, so this one has a virtual camera output, uh, and you can also even have another one have a virtual camera, or none. Uh, you can have it where this camera specifically is virtual cam, but then this one could be like your stream camera basically, whichever you prefer basically. Also, uh, you can even have it where if you have like different scenes or uh, different angles for your cameras, you can have it where there is a virtual camera, so that way it's much more easier to like, um, I guess depends on your setup. You can have it so um, you have different virtual cameras to like toggle different angles and stuff. But otherwise, you could set up camera hotkeys in that case with blueprints. But even then, though, I just wanted to at least throw out a couple ideas you can use for the individual virtual cam. Same applies to Spout and NDI. NDI is used for collabs, of course, but either way, though. Um, Pretty much in a nutshell, this is pretty much how you can be able to set up virtual cam. Also, um, let's say for instance, you know, we do have our virtual cam set up. Um, I'm going to have like, let's say an individual one. Let's say for instance, even though you have clicked on this and it's saying output to Wadido cam, you still do not see your virtual cam at all. What do you do? Well, what you can do is click on the little paw button right here, click on open data folder. Go to the file explorer that pops up, and then you're going to go click on binaries. Then go to virtual cam, and then right here, these two bat files, these are the important ones that can help you out debug your issue with your virtual cam. So make sure that you install virtual uh, the virtual cam here. If by any chance you haven't do it, uh, just click it there, but otherwise, if you have it installed and it's still giving you issues, go ahead and uninstall and then reinstall it. And please make sure that after you install Wadido virtual cam that you restart your PC or restart Wadido or re reset Discord 2. I would personally just prefer reset the entire PC, but... You can do that uh, if by any chance you're running through any issues, this should hopefully help you out. If you still run into issues, please join the Wadudo Discord server as the developer is there to um, help out regarding any issues with the program and such. But either way though, I hope that this helped you out regarding setting up virtual cam uh, inside of Wadudo. And have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!